Hey everyone, it's Justin Krieg from Historic Columbus with another episode of Tuesdays with Justin. Today, I've got an interesting story for you all. I was uh, at dinner the other night and heard this story, and I've done some research. I'm down here in the archive uh, of Historic Columbus here at the Rankin House and have done some reading and have come up with what I think is the first fully documented historical account of a road rage incident in Columbus, Georgia, or at least it involved roads. So many of you all have probably heard the name G. Gunby Jordan. He was one of the most prominent uh, businessmen in Columbus in the uh, mid to late 1800s. He was heavily involved in education and textile mills, uh, the banking industry, transportation, construction, railroads. If it, if it happened in Columbus, he likely had a finger in it um, in the 1800s. And that's kind of where this interesting story begins. In 1889, there was another prominent businessman in uh, in Macon, Georgia, that had been doing some deals with uh, G. Gumby Jordan. His name was B.T. Hatcher, and he accused Jordan of some unethical unethical business practices related to a construction project that um, that was ultimately building a road from Columbus to Atlanta. Long story short, like a lot of road projects do, it was running behind um, behind its timeline and well over budget and was in need of some additional capital. And so Jordan was trying to, to convince Hatcher to inject some more capital into the project, roughly $15,000 at the time. Um, but, but Hatcher uh, ultimately accused Jordan of unethical business practices and Jordan demanded that, that Hatcher retract his words, uh, to which Hatcher refused to do. And Jordan said, well, if you want to continue this argument, let's take it across the river to Alabama so the police don't get involved. Um, which was kind of a, an escalation, escalation of the, uh, the argument there. And long story short, each man appointed a representative, uh, because Jordan challenged Hatcher to a duel. These two men were going to fight it out to the end over the construction of a road between Columbus and Atlanta. So the two representatives were to negotiate and, and come up with a set of terms for the duel and ultimately they came up with a scenario where they would mark off a 10-foot circle and the two men would fight each other to the end with bowie knives which are essentially rambo knives if you're not familiar um a long story short some mutual friends got together um and cooler has prevailed the group uh formed a board considered the the conversation the argument between the two men hatcher and jordan and mediated the situation ultimately Hatcher was um, apologetic of his accusations and expressed regret about the misunderstanding which caused the charges, as the newspaper article read in 1889. The whole account was covered by a, uh, an article in the Evening Star of uh, the newspaper, and that, was, that article was titled Bowie Knives at Ten Paces. It was written in 1889, and then a follow-up article was uh, was written and covered by the Atlanta Constitution, and that uh, article was called "They Are Friends." So there you go, one of the first documented road rage incidents um, here in Columbus, Georgia. With that, we'll see you next Tuesday.